Planning cruise vacations is fun. It's really fun if you get to see what the ship looks like before you even get on it. This last five days we spent on the Majestic Princess, which is a beautiful ship. And this video, you get to see everything from the top to the bottom. So when I was coming on this cruise, I thought, you know what, let's do a full ship tour. So we're starting right here on deck 19. So on deck 19, basically the only thing is this putty grade. So you can see it's just an opportunity for you to practice if you want to do a little bit of golf. I'm still on 19, but we can look down in 18. So on deck 18, they have this court that's kind of a multi sports court. Right now it's set up, and you can see a lot of people are playing pickleball. Very popular. Still on deck 18, and on deck 18, you can see there's some outdoor equipment you can use if you wanted to get some fitness on. And then this is a good deck to walk around to get in some steps. And bring little ones on board. This is where you're going to bring them to, which is the tree house. Right, uh, Prentice is partnered up with National Geographic, so they have cool activities. So there's all sorts of things that you could get to do all day long. You could drop them off as early as 9 a.m. and pick them up as late as 10 p.m. that night. There are four of these cool ping pong cages for you to play ping pong so you're not chasing all after the ball when it rolls down the ship. Want to keep up your fitness routine, you'll have no problem. There's so much equipment in the fitness center to keep you in shape. The Hollywood pool that's at the back of the ship, it's a covered pool. So if it's a little bit cloudy outside, you can come on here and get in some laps. In the Hollywood Conservatory, where the bow is a ship right above the bridge. And you can see this is a very tranquil, peaceful space. It is a great space also to play games. So we came up here with some of the different games that we brought to play some games. It was a lot of fun. I won. So there's a nice big pool deck. You can see there's a couple pools and there's a whole bunch of hot tubs. And then in the day and the night, they've got that big screen going. At night, it's movies under the stars. In the day, like right now, they're doing like a Tai Chi morning wake up routine. Okay, we're on top at the, on level 17. Down on 16, there's a fountain that's supposed to happen that's supposed to be like Bellagio at sea. So let's hope it happens. We got about 10 minutes and then we'll show it to you. All right, something you can get a nice little treat is a swirls ice cream, but they don't have any swirl. They only have scoop, but it is delicious. It is the unique feature of this ship. It's a skywalk. So it just kind of sticks out from the ship. And if you look down, you see the water. Took away the day's adventures in a soothing hot tub. On this ship, there are four of them. Cool Deck has tons of seating for three reasons. One, you're right outside the world market, so you could bring your food out here to eat. Then there's also on this deck, the noodle bar and the burger and the lobster grill. So lots of places for you to sit and eat once you get your food. So Chopsticks Noodle Bar is the only noodle bar in all of the whole Princess fleet. And it is delicious. I got the one with wonton noodle. Noodle makes really good. The noodle bar is super popular. And is the burger in your way. The World Marketplace is on level 16. And that is where the buffet is. 
and it is only 7.20 in the morning. We're here with the sun, and you can see this is the time to come if you don't want to have a crowd. We ate every breakfast at the World Fresh Marketplace. There is always something new to choose or an old favorite. I really like the hash browns. Oh, they were so good. I could eat 20 of them. They're only by the bread display, in case you didn't know. This is it a bread display. I think they'd write but that because they don't want you eating that bread. It's just for display. This is the bakery where they have tons of yummy treats. We'll take a quick look through it and go through it. If you're enjoying this video, can you like and subscribe to this channel? Now on the back of deck 16, the weight view bar. And this is such a beautiful area also. So you could bring your food outside if you uh, got some food at the world market and then you can come out, get a mimosa or something else delicious like a Bloody Mary in the morning. Gorgeous. When you get off the elevators and you're like, which way do I go? It's nice because they've color coded the port side and starboard side. Here's another tip. When you get off the elevator, you want to, first of all, when you're on the ship, you want to figure out where are you at, where, where are you at, where are you at on the ship. So we at here, our room is near the mid ship. So it's better not to loft it down the long corridors, better to get yourself to the middle of the ship and then take the elevator so you're close to your room and not like walking down corridors trying to find your room. So, so Princess Cruises go far. The ship that we're on right now, it's a repositioning to go to Australia. If you're on the ship for that long, you're gonna need to do some laundry. So they do have a nice laundry room on every level where there are cabins. And then you use your medallion to get tokens to pay for the laundry. On decks six and seven, you'll find the Princess Theater. This is where they have all their production shows and they were fabulous. Get there early if you're on a full ship so you get the seat that you would like. Princess Live is a venue. Come on in, check it out. It has seating and this is where they do lots of like trivia and game shows. So it's kind of a smaller space. It is a small space, but not small on fun. This is the Vista Lounge. During the day, they use it for bingo and the art gallery that it's setting up right now in art gallery and the attic they can now shows. It looks like a perfect place to have like a stand-up comedian show. On this evening, they were hosting an Ed Sheeran style acoustic guitar player. And then the Crown View Grill Restaurant. It is a traditional steakhouse. And look at this room. I want to sit down and have a nice bottle of wine. Crown Grill Bar was a great place to sit. There was plenty of seating and they had live music there as well. That is the Catch by Rudy. And it serves seafood, they think shrimp cocktail, seafood towers, all the delicious foods of the sea. Yum. This piazza is three levels high and they have lots of live music, games, all sorts of stuff happens right here. And the part of the shift, super fun. And it makes me think about this joke that I heard. So the comedian says, what's it, somebody asked her, what's it like being on a cruise ship? And she says, it's like being at a hotel in Vegas and it sails away and nobody thinks anything of it. <laughs> Concertos, it's one of three main dining rooms on the ship. There's Concerto and there's Allegra and there's Symphony. And so all of them have the same menu. It's just instead of having one huge grand dining room, they have three to choose from. We're in the inner circle, look, we made it. This is our main dining room at Concerto. And we asked to sit in a circle and we're in here, we made it. 
We ate in Allegro the first night, and then wanting to try the different main dining rooms, we went to Concerto. We ended up staying there the rest of our time. We just like the ambiance a little bit better. Here's where you're going to go for your photos. This is the photo gallery. If you have the Princess Premiere, you have unlimited downloads. The Fine Arts Gallery had some beautiful art. I don't know who buys art on a ship. If you do, can you leave a comment below? This is Alfredo's Pizzeria. It is one of the casual dining options on the ship. Good Spirits at Sea is known for their cocktail menu. Be sure to stop by. Just like most cruise ships, this one definitely has a casino. So we're gonna do a quick walkthrough. We did not test our fates on this cruise, but if we wanted to, there was a lots of ways to do it. Lots of slot machines and card tables as well. The Double Down Bar was always a nice place to go if you kind of want to get away from the crowds. The Piazza is the heart of the ship and it goes all the way from decks five, six, and seven. This is where they have dance classes, they have live music, they have, you can see a fitness class, lots of fun. The Lotus Spa is where they have all their spa treatments. And this on deck five is where you would go for guest services and the shore excursions desk. This is a unique specialty restaurant for Princess Cruise. It's called Harmony and it is a Chinese restaurant that actually won the first Michelin Chinese restaurant star in North America. The International Cafe is where you can pick up a quick bite, a sandwich, a cookie, some other sweet treats, and that's where you get your coffee if you are a sick time coffee maker. Want to know more about Majestic Princess and what we thought about it? Make sure you watch this video next. Happy sailing!